Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fat Camp Artwork. I am Sean Reisner, and if you are new here today, I would like to invite you to join me as we do painting tutorials, as you can see, and I'd like to invite you to like, subscribe, and, you know, follow my channel. If you guys are ready, today we're going to focus on some details, finishing details in the barn, and some maybe just minor details to kind of finish off the trees. As soon as we get those done, I think we're going to go ahead and lay in our, our, our middle ground, if you want to call it, the base coat for that. And we'll just kind of fill in this here. Maybe we'll just do some little stuff over there. I'm going to have some bushes and stuff. So if you guys are ready, let's do this. All right, so last time uh, we had left off, we were going to put in like a rock foundation, if you will, on this side of the barn here. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and define the edge on our sliding door, and then we'll come back, and then we'll go into the barn. So this side here, I'm going to do, do some uh, darkening. I want to add a little bit of a dark, I guess a shadow side, if you will, to kind of define that. Again, it's going to be very difficult to really see. It's just a very fine detail, but you'll be able to tell. And we could use that same color because a lot of times those doors have like a, a ridge to them. So in my mind, let's just go ahead and I'm going to use my angle brush, as you can see. And I'm just going to kind of uh, stipple in the, like maybe just some indications of uh, recession within the doors. And they don't have to be perfect by any means. This door is old. And this is kind of tough, kind of like me sometimes. It's just kind of, <laughs> kind of tough and wore out. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a good Saturday too. I know we are here. We're off to a pretty good start anyway. Kind of like that. Now, I, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, let's streak in just a little bit of dark from the bottom. Ooh, there we go. We're just going to kind of streak in a little. Very, just very lightly streak in uh, some of this blue, like it's just a little reflective light from maybe the sky or something. And, uh, okay, I think that's good right there. I'll just kind of wipe out the brush. And we'll just kind of do that, but just kind of, kind of flick it, <laughs> flick it real good. Okay, you can even probably clean out some of that just here and there in certain spots on your on your red even too, because uh, that will kind of make it look like shadows in certain spots here. Ooh, that's kind of a nice effect. I kind of like that. On our door, you know, a lot of times those old metal doors get rusty and, and weathered with time. So I'm, I laid out a little uh, burnt sienna here. And 
I'm going to add a smidge of white and just a hint of black. Not much at all. Mostly that brown color. And then I got a very small detailed brush with a little flat tip on it. Okay, now we're getting the effect here. When that paint starts to run out, we're going to go back through and then grab what's left here. And then we're just going to kind of smear it, following the angles of the tin, basically the upright and uh, ridged spots. You can add a little more here and there and do the same. But you see how that kind of uh, gives you a really rusty appearance of the indication. Those kinds of things are what really make your painting stand out rather than just smudges of solid color. That's a little fat camp tip for you, huh? this white line right above where that rock foundation is going to go that's to kind of give it the look that the foundation is actually built away from the building and light is just striking the very top of that okay so here's my dilemma um, I was doing the rock foundation but I got to looking at it and I don't know if that's the approach I want to go with this anymore so again I get so many questions from people Oh no, did I ruin this? Can I fix it? Can I this? Can I that? Absolutely. As you can see, I've got those colors in there. That's fine. We'll just remove them. Um, to do that, I'll just take the same brush. I never washed it or anything. What we'll do, just wipe it out real good. We'll grab it where we have the color. We'll just smear it into what we have there, okay? Now, keep in mind, everything underneath that is dry. The only thing that's wet on there is the light highlight piece that we put on top. To remove the rest, a little turpentine. We'll just kind of outline. Our box that we have the paint on. Okay, dry your brush out, grab that turpentine, and streak downward to get the residual paint thinner off. Okay, and then now that we're done with that, there we go. And that's how you can fix a mistake. That's what Bob Ross meant when he said, there's no such thing as a mistake. We just have happy accidents. Anything that is done on the canvas, you can undo or fix. So always keep that in mind. I'll just continue along with my detail round. Let's go ahead and we'll just streak in some colors up here. You know, for the barn colors, we'll just kind of get some red and such. We'll just kind of streak little hints of color in here. 
wherever you're thinking the light's gonna strike. Let's try a uh, let's try a brick, maybe a, like just the indication of bricks in this foundation. So I'm gonna go into that same color. I just kind of darkened it a little bit or lightened it, I should say. Sorry, and I'm just going to hint in the indication. Or you know, this could maybe even be a, a smaller rock, if you will. Even I, I don't know. We're just looking for some kind of a texture to indicate something happening. said last time I want to redefine this edge up top here a little bit because we were ba uh, bouncing back and forth between our darks and lights so here we go when this is dark I'm gonna use just some uh, Van Dyke brown and some black mixed together you'll really see this stand out Okay, so remember how last time we put in like the skeleton to the tree, so to speak, the branches, the sticks and stuff? You can actually take and do that process again after everything's put in. I tell you what though, again we're going to thin our paint down. I use paint thinner and we're going to use our liner brush. We're going to See how thin that is? And then you're gonna to wanna to roll your brush as you and then pull it out. That's what pulls it to a sharp edge. We're gonna go back in here. And in my mind, this piece sticking out here, I want to put a branch. Maybe there's like another tree that we can kind of get the indication of right back in here. But I want to put a branch. Maybe it just kind of hangs down. Maybe you can see pieces of it sticking out here to hold all this up. And then what we'll do is we'll come back Maybe we'll darken a little more. Maybe something like that. Now a lot of times too, don't, uh, don't be afraid about taking and putting dark sticks outside your tree. <clears throat> Again, same thing, roll the brush, pull it up. You can just pick out spots and very gently pull out some sticks. You don't want to do too many. Even here, maybe there's a, maybe there's a dead branch just kind of peeking out. Right here. There we go. <clears throat> that 
that one kind of bugged me, so I feel better about getting that one put in there. There, there's that tree. I think for right now, we'll just go ahead and leave that where it is. You're, you're not really adding a lot, but just little line work is what is going to make your painting stand out so much more than just a basic simple thing and you know we'll come in and we can add a shadow here in the tree you know there's just lots of little things it's just basically playing at this point okay so I'm gonna put in this base coat for this middle ground uh, I'm just using this brush it was convenient uh, you could use really anything to do this a one inch brush a fan brush you know, whatever. Um, like I said, this was just convenient, so I'll roll with this. And we're just going to streak in, I guess basically just streak in some color. We're going to come up right underneath the barn. Nothing too crazy just yet. What do you think about something like that? I'm kind of thinking right now uh, the barn and tree is going to be pretty much finished, you know, unless we decide to go back and do some piddling later. But uh, we got our color for most of our middle ground, if you will call it. This is just a base. Uh, we will add highlights and individual blades of grass, flowers, whatever, you know, country themish stuff you want to put in there. And also, I kind of just streaked in the indication of maybe there was an old road in there at one point and we'll we'll kind of piddle with that later on for those of you who are actually attempting to paint this picture with me uh, we're going to apply the middle ground and we'll be on our foreground in the next video so shortly after that you're going to have your very first finished painting so yay excited you know <laughs> all right you guys well with that being said I enjoy you spending your Saturday with me. Uh, I had a great time. I hope you guys did as well. If you haven't already, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I try to post videos a little more regularly. Also, if you haven't been on my Facebook page, uh, Fat Camp Artwork by Sean Reisner, go ahead, like, and follow that. And we'll be seeing you guys around real soon. Okay, you know what we say. Fat Camp all up in your face. Let's get it.